guys. Today is uh, Thursday, September 8th. And I'm just coming to you with a timeless message. I've already been doing readings and channeling this morning on my um, TikTok. I put up a few videos, right? Of a few messages and we're gonna kind of expand upon that here today. Uh, Spirit's really, really, really wanting us to concentrate on setting our boundaries what we are giving our time to, our priorities, um, mainly because Spirit's wanting us right now to receive and water ourselves. We've been doing a lot of manifesting, right? And a lot of action and like moving forward and things like that. And Spirit's like, that is perfect. That is great. But now it's time to like balance out that beautiful dance of movement with a solid flow of allowing things to come into you, things that you fully deserve. Okay, so that's what Spirit's really wanting us to focus on right now, you all. And I just wanted to expand upon that a little bit more. And I think it's because Spirit feels like a, a lot of us, I'm just still in that Palo Santo burn, but a lot of us, um, we're just clearing out some of that negative energy right now. And I wanna take the time real quick to stop. I always jump right in and I always do it before my videos and in my head and things like that, but I really want to take the night time today to thank our ancestors, thank our spirit guides, our angels and things and our spirit teams that are with us that are of our highest good and our the white light, okay? I want to invite them in with us today so that we can intentionally get some direction on this conversation about the self-care and about watering ourselves and how we should do these and the steps that we should take to cleanse our energy and our air from all of the distractions that have been going going on as of lately so that we can prioritize and put ourselves first okay so I um, have a box of cards right here next to me <laughs> and we're just gonna pull these decks randomly I already used the soulful woman that was I got that message out on my um on my TikTok. I apologize like my brain froze Today we're going to use the um, our transformation deck, and I think this is my Gaia deck. I mixed a few decks together, you guys, and made like these super decks. But we're just going to see what messages Spirit has for us and expand upon that. Because I think some of us lately, you know, like I said, um, a rose just as beautiful still has thorns right so just because you're beautiful just because you're soft just because you are feminine and you are receiving doesn't mean that you allow or you take anything from anybody okay it means that you're very discerning as well okay and you protect yourself when need be and if someone picks you up and don't handle you right they may get pricked okay and that's okay because it's okay to set those boundaries and teach people how to treat you spirit says achievement keep focused on your dreams spirit says and this was in the message earlier like i said those distractions and things that have been coming up and that's been coming up the past few days alignment being aligned aligned so spirits what really telling us with our crown chakras and our hearts to be aligned with our vision okay what we're envisioning what we see for ourselves what we're speaking about for ourselves what we're putting out there in the air with our throat chakra with our heart chakra what what paths we're taking, what roads we're traveling right now, where we're putting our love, where we're giving of ourselves to, okay? With our solars, what are we believing in? Are we believing that we have the power? My TV, I don't know, it's been going in and out, you guys, the YouTube, I don't know what it is. Anyways, I will background music, whatever, we're gonna keep going. But our, our strength, I feel like spirit really wants us to focus on that area and it's like, no, no distractions. No silence. You need to focus on that strength that keep your courage, keep you powered up through going through these trials and tribulations because as we manifest, we know it's not easy. Sometimes things are going to come up. Okay, and we want to keep that creative fire, keeping our bills and our, our root chakra and all of our basic necessities, all of those things in alignment so that we can achieve our highest goal. Okay, so we have to stay focused right now. Spirit says when you're lost, when you're wondering, when you don't know how to align, literally ask yourself. Sit with yourself and ask yourself. What do I need to do to align in the moment? 
Where in my body is it that I'm not aligned? Where in my life am I not aligned? See where you feel that within yourself, okay? Take the time to sit and breathe. Be patient with yourself. Be compassionate with yourself and water yourself during this time on Spirit says on your sacred journey as you go through once again, like I said, these life cycles, this family and this transformation. I feel like a lot of you guys are being rooted right now. You're grounding, right? You're trying to build these these roots up, join families. A lot of you are wanting this love in your life and that's great and all, but if it doesn't align with your greater good, it's no bueno for you. Spirit just told me that. Okay, because you are on a soul craft mission. And what does that mean? This is a contract, um, a craft, a skill, a specialty that you do, that only you can do. And this is your mission in life. And you came here to do this. And it's time for you to elevate to that. Spirit says you cannot without providing yourself the proper self-care. You guys take the time. Get yourself some tea. Get yourself some water. Relax, okay? Okay, and for a lot of you guys, Spirit says that you have a, um, I feel like for a lot of you, you have like a twin flame that's coming in right now, and this person is literally thinking of you, and this goes along with your, um, your achievements, with what's coming in alignment to your life right now. Some of you guys have been manifesting love, and you've been believing that this love is coming to you. This lover is also thinking of you just as much. Okay, it says a loving thought, serendipity. It's a soul love. It's a soul contract. Okay, so some of you guys have come to this earth with your partner and your mate. And that's also, it's time for you to align now. And everything that you want and that you want to manifest and that you want to do, like I said before, Spirit says, ask your soul. When you're not sure if it's in alignment with your heart, your bigger purpose ask your soul but like i said a lot of you guys are manifesting love also okay on top of these great achievements and these lives you guys are literally manifesting this love this family and coming together and building roots with another and that's why spirits like be discerning because you don't want to build roots with the person that's wrong for you you have to make sure that this person um and everything that goes along with this person is in alignment with uh, with yourself. But Spirit is wanting to give you these gifts right now. Spirit says, just as the earth goes through, you are going through a sort of evolution right now. You're going through changes. Um, there's climate change, transformation. As right now, you can see that the seasons are changing. And you can take note with the weather, with the elements, I tell everyone, as to what you're going through personally yourself, okay? So just like the earth and the seasons change, you are changing, you are maturing right now. You are going into a place of rest and rejuvenation. That is what the fall is. You're letting your leaves fall, right? You're taking some time to chill. <laughs> All of these cards about transformation. Okay, and this one right here says amethyst. So some of you guys might want to get you some amethyst, like I said, because you are working from a place. Oh, I didn't say that on this video. I think that was my TikTok where I was talking about clarity and um, really using your divine and connecting to the divine right now. We are in a place of that. Okay, going through that type of transformation also, but that takes a certain confidence and a certain type of grounding. Okay, you're moving into a place where you're no longer going to question yourself. You're just going to know. You're going to be sure. All of the knowledge and wisdom that you've gained from all of the lifetimes and cycles of being very young for some of you and learning boundaries with people and how to make people handle you. Right? You've learned these things your whole life. So why are you still dealing with people that mishandle you? Spirit says. Okay, because when you do that, you block your blessings from these soul loves that are supposed to come in. And that's what spirit wants for you. Why? Because you deserve it. Like simply, like that's literally what spirit said. Why? Because you deserve it. Okay, Spirit says you're in this hangman position, a lot of you, where you've got to make the decision between what it is that you want and what it is that you don't want in your life. But no one can make that decision for you, but you. No one. <laughs> the 
Literally, no one can make that decision for you but you. Like I said, these are thoughts and things that you learned when you were younger. The Page of Swords is a very person, like young, very young thinking. These are thoughts and things that you learned younger. You learn these boundaries and, and how people would treat you and things when you were very young. Okay, but the thing is, some of you guys are still in that like young minded state. And Spirit says, hey, it's time for you to mature. You're not a babe anymore. So you don't do as babes do anymore. You have these new ideas, these new visions that are divinely guided that come into your thoughts and come into your mind. And it's time for you to act on them and set those boundaries. Use your sword. Okay, if it doesn't align with you, let it go. This judgment card, it is okay. It's not bad to judge. Fuck, why would you waste your time if you, like that one meme says, I've made all this time to take all these, or take all this time and not even a meme. Listen, you've taken the time to make all these changes. Why on earth, after you've taken the time to untie yourself, to cleanse yourself and make all these changes, would you still deal with filth? Would you still deal with the old parts of yourself? When you look at your future self, what do you see? Right? And what don't you see anymore? It's not bad to remove those things from your life and start fresh and start new. That's the blessings that you're being granted with. That's the manifestation that you've asked for. But the thing is with this hangman energy, you have to choose to make it happen. You're staying stagnant and spirit don't like that. Spirit don't like that lukewarm shit. Okay, and spirit just says that you feel like you have to stay stagnant, like you're trying to hold on to things that aren't there because you're afraid of losing them. The five of pentacles comes after that. You're afraid of losing them. Spirit says for some of you guys, you're literally working too hard and working opposite, okay, and wasting. And that's because you're not allowing the receiving part of what you've built because you won't surrender and move past these old energies. For a lot of you all, Spirit says you need to protect yourself right now. Okay, get into these this Nine of Pentacles energy in which you're building. Protect your coin in which you're building, in which you're trying to build up. Yeah, a lot of you guys are just over situations. You're feeling really dead, really burdened by things. And it's why you keep returning to these old things, right? Because you're like, you don't have the patience to really see what's coming in for you. And Spirit's like, look, you've done the work. Now it's time to just balance out that fine dance. Like I said, that ebb and flow. Okay, of where you are moving in your masculine energy and keeping things going, but where you're also allowing the time for you to relax, for you to chill, for you to receive, for you to be in that feminine energy and allow all the things that you've worked so hard for to start coming to you. But it's between you setting those boundaries so that you can let these new love, these new abundances, and all of these things that you've been working so hard for in. That's the period you're in right now. But with this Mercury retrograde, like I said, you have a lot of your old desires and temptations that are trying to come back around you and spirits like no bueno. That's what we're not gonna do. We need you to get out of that energy where you're in between, where you're hot and cold, where you're lukewarm. Okay, put up those rose bushes, put up those thorns. And if somebody grabs you disrespectfully and they get stuck, oh well. You've got all the signs there. Use all your tools, all your resources, okay? You are stopping at this point your own growth. Spirit says for some of you guys, you need to get grounded. And it's because you're looking, like I said, for this companionship, this friendship. You know, if it's not an actual relationship, it's friends. You're looking for this soul tribe and they will appear, but you can't keep going back and forth. You've got to, some of you guys need to get your body in balance, your health in balance, your health checked, your mental health checked, things like that. For some of you guys, you're an air sign or a Libra or also possibly a fire sign, right? And right now, like I said, spirit is telling you all about balance. These two cards, balance, both of them, duality, as above, so below, as within, so without. Okay, coming together with your yin and yang, learning that ebb and flow, like I said earlier.
Okay, learning to balance your lights and your dark sides. All right, Spirit says, okay, you say that you want this in your life. Well, you must be that catalyst. You must be that dragonfly. You must create what you say you want in your life. Okay? If you say you want something, why do you keep say accepting the same old things? If you want something new, create that right now. You can do that. You can create your own reality, literally, with this master number. You've been here so many times. You've done this shit so many times before. You can do this. You can do this. Balance your shit out. Get your priorities straight. Put yourself first. Okay? Say no to anything else. Get out your feelings. Okay? Quit worrying about this love because you're reversing the shit. Because you're worrying about it so much and you just keep taking yourself through these same karmic cycles. Over and over again. Okay? When you're at the point where you're supposed to be getting your luck. You have options. But like Spirit says, you've got to make the right decision. Quit hanging there. It's not that you don't have options. It's what you choose. You keep following behind these fleeting lovers. Okay? Your heart's just searching. And you're following behind all these fleeting lovers. For some of you guys, like I said, these fleeting lovers, it's it's that's about to go down. Spirit's not about to let you keep on. You're supposed to be manifesting this sun card right now. Okay, you're manifesting your greater future. So this stuff can't go on any longer. And if it has been, spirit's about to end it. I'm letting you know right now. Some of you guys that are in relationships that are no bueno for you, and you've been going through changes and these growths and regrowths, but you won't allow them to happen. Well, spirit says no more. Spirit says no more. That was my food, you guys. Spirit says no more. Some of you guys have been up late at night, not resting, all because of this, okay? Because you're trying to create this perfect family. And the thing is, spirit wants to give it to you, but what you have right now is not it. And you've got to make the decision to move on to your victory. But you're blocking that. You're blocking your own victory because you keep going back to this situation that's painful and that is not for you. And Spirit says that is not how you show yourself self-love. That is not how you show yourself care. That is not how you use your resources and manifest the best life that you want. Get some rest. Okay, get some rest. You're staying up at night worrying when it's not even that. What are you worrying for when all you need to do is use your resources, act accordingly, put up your boundaries and your guards, love yourself more. I mean, a lot more. Work on that through this retrograde and quit worrying about your heart and pour into you. And that will get filled. It's going to come. Gosh, what is the rush spirit just said? Oh my God, get some fucking sleep again. You are being an ass because you are fucking tired. Face to the pillow. Now, rest. Get you some rest and rejuvenate yourself. That is what spirit said. Love. Look, look at this. Get some, give some. It will cheer your ass up. So if you want to attract love, you give it. You don't hoard. You don't hold on tight to things that are not for you. You live your life through love every day. And that is what you will attract. This person broke your heart. They're breaking your heart. But fuck them. Literally. Listen, this is my rebel deck. I'm making this shit. What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. So this is going towards those goals we were talking about. Get it done. Align your life. If you are waiting for a sign, oh, well, then here it fucking is. Okay, align your life right now. And Spirit says laugh also. Where the fuck is your sense of humor? Get some joy in your life. Get some laughing in your life. Okay, be the things that you want to attract and allow yourself the time and space to attract them. Not these false ones. Not this stuff that's going to mess you up and be hurting your heart. And have you all the way messed up all the time over and over again. No, I'm spirits talking to you about a real love that it wants to give you. And it says you definitely deserve it. But hey, we can't give it to you if you don't let us in. Queen Blake, period. I was putting my cards back in my box, you guys. I hope you enjoy this video today and this message. And, you know, I always like to leave with something nice.
<laughs> After that rubble deck, let's go ahead and pull a namaste card. Or just want one. Give us one message for today's spirit to close this reading out on. But yeah, you guys, that love, it's coming. It's coming. Everything is coming that you are desiring and that you want, okay? The feel, the passion, everything is up ahead. Keep following your intuition. Keep following your mind. Keep following the flowers. It says the blessing of faith. The universe is testing you. We'll be faithful and true to yourself. Be See that? The universe is testing you right now, you guys. This retrograde is a test. Are you going to be faithful and true to yourself? Keep an integrity to yourself. Be courageous, for you are supported by a divine ocean of love. <laughs> you are gifted at this time with blessing of a strong faith that will see you through the present challenges. Everything you're going through is for a reason, and you will come out stronger on top. Have that faith, you guys. And I want to thank our ancestors, our spirit guys that are the highest white light, our spirit team, the divine, for being here with us today and delivering such a beautiful message and reminding us of the strength that we have within ourselves. The beauty that we hold does not mean that we don't deserve to be protected. And sometimes we have to be the ones to protect ourselves. I hope you guys enjoyed this message today. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff to this video, to my channel and more. I am definitely trying to grow. Um, you can also find me on TikTok. Okay, so I deliver short daily messages on there as well sometimes. And I'll put all my information down below. Thank you again. Love you. Have a blessed day.